Hey guys, Tyler here, and thanks for checking out this video. And this is going to be my last guide for 8.3 and BFA. Its main goal is going to be for those that are thinking about switching to Marksman Hunter in Shadowlands to kind of get prepared for the playstyle. So, Master, let's get started. So before we dive into all three different builds that I'm going to show you guys today, I just want to let you know they all bring something different to the table. Whether it be with the machine gun build where it gives you a heavy flexibility and mobility uh, while getting resets, uh, or that be the unerring vision full crit build uh, where that actually hits like a truck and is great for burst potential in PvP and in PvE, as well as the build that I'll show you last, which is the build I am running with that is a nice combination of the two. So for the talents for this first build, which is the machine gun build, otherwise known as the run and gun build, you're going to want to have three in the rhythm. That does give you a small bloodlust every uh, 20 seconds. Uh, that will give you 2200 uh, haste for a seven second window after you finish the cast of rapid fire. From there, you'll want to pick up one unerring vision that just gives your true shots a little bit of extra pop and stacks a little bit more crit. Uh, then you will want to run with one focused fire, which whenever you use your rapid fire, you will gain a little bit of extra focus. However, if you'd like to use the alternate build, uh, you can drop the focus fire for one surging shots. Basically what that does is it gives you a 15% chance of whenever you cast your uh, aim shot to give you your rapid fire a full uh, cooldown reduction and it'll be back up. And like I said, this is perfect for battlegrounds and arena, primarily because it gives you strong flexibility and mobility where you can literally just uh, run around the map and never have to stop where the other builds do have to stop to cast your aim shots. For the talents for this build, you do have a couple of options and we'll lay them out for you right here. Uh, so for your level 15 talents, you want to run with Master Marksman. That's pretty much the only thing that's really viable right now. Same way with your level 30 talent with Careful Aim. Uh, for level 45, that's your choice. Uh, if you're PvEing, I would highly suggest, or in like a raid content, I would highly suggest Natural Mending. But if you're in PvP, uh, I would suggest either Camouflage or Natural Mending. Camo being nice if there's not a Demon Hunter that can't find you. Uh, for level 60, you can choose either number 1 or number 2, so either Steady Focus or Streamline. Uh, if you're running with this build, usually Hunter's Mark isn't going to be worthwhile as much as the other two, but you still can run with that. Uh, as for your level 75, uh, that is your choice as well. Uh, there will be often times where in raid, I, if I don't need to get out of a route with post haste, I'll run with Born to be Wild, which lowers the cooldown of Cheetah and of Turtle. But if you're in a PvP situation, Binding Shot is also good to get those pesky warriors off your tail. And then for the last two, you want to run with either Lethal Shots or Double Tap. I've been leaning towards Lethal Shots now, which has a chance to lower the cooldown of your Rapid Fire by 5 seconds. And then the last talent is going to be Calling the Shots, and that's pretty much how Marksman Hunter works right now. With It constantly whittles uh, the cooldown of your True Shot down each time. Uh, you cast an arcane shot, which is free with your level 15 talent. As for stat priority for this build, you want to start off with approximately a base of 30% crit. From there, you want to go verse or mastery, uh, whichever you prefer, uh, agility, haste, and then finally crit. Uh, as for gems, you want to go with either verse or mastery, whichever you have more of, because uh, that will come into play when we talk about corruptions here very soon. And then as for your enchants, you want to use the same as your gems. So if you're gemming for versatility, you want to enchant with versatility. And same thing with mastery if you're heavy mastery. And then for your weapon, uh, you want to go ahead and put the navigation that is either versatility or mastery. So last but not least, we have Corruptions. Uh, corruptions have pretty much uh, exploded damage in this last tier uh, of the expansion, and we have got a lot of good ones to choose from. So the first one would be Whispered Truth, which is off of the Skitra Bow in Nihilotha. Uh, basically what it does is every time you auto shot, uh, you have two seconds uh, cut off of one of your cooldowns, one of your hunter cooldowns. can be any cooldown though, uh, but most of the time in a raid setting, anything that you are using is going to be worthwhile getting that cooldown lowered. 
Uh, this is the only build where I will choose something that's uh, not like a, a plus 12% mastery, a plus 12% versatility, uh, because it is Twisted Appendage. Twisted Appendage is really, really good in PvP situations, because it actually uh, ignores some, not full immunities, but for example, if you're a hunter and you have somebody else's Twisted Appendage attacking you, and you turtle, it's still going to hit you through that turtle, uh, so it is uh, a really nice ability. Uh, from there it would be expedient 3 uh, which is the 12% haste value from there you want to use either versatile or masterful uh, 3 uh, which is 12% of that value you want to run with the 12% versatility if you are heavy versatility and the masterful one if you're running with heavy mastery uh, and then also ineffable truth rank 1 rank 2 is pretty garbage but rank 1 is really nice uh, and basically, uh, just some notes here, uh, the versatility was nerfed by a third in PvP because it does lower the damage you take as well, uh, on top of, you know, doing more damage. And then, as for corruptions in general for all of these builds, I don't run above 39 because I don't want to have to deal uh, with the thing from beyond chasing my butt down. Uh, you can run with more than that, but I don't recommend it. So our second build is the Unerring Visions build, and we'll start off with our Azerite traits. So the first Azerite trait you want to collect is 3 Unerring Vision. Uh, that way you'll have, assuming you run with 22% crit, which we'll talk about in the stats part of this video, uh, you want to run with 3 of those to give you right at 100% or over 100% crit fully stacked with your true shot. Then 2 in the rhythm, that way you have that smaller bloodlust. Uh, where you get approximately 1400 haste every time you use your rapid fire and then one focus fire to give you that little bit of extra damage with your uh, rapid fire and also give you a little bit more of your focus back uh, an alt build to this you can drop that focus fire uh, for one surging shots which does give you a 15 percent chance every time you're casting that aim shot uh, to fully uh, recoup the cooldown uh, of your rapid fire. Uh, this build is perfect for battlegrounds, particularly ones where you won't be focused. And it is a completely burst build, however, uh, but it does put out massive amounts of damage very quickly. And it does, like I said, stack that 100% crit very, very fast. As for the talents for the Unerring Vision build, you'll notice a lot of these are very similar among all three builds. Uh, but for our level 15 talent, you want to pick up Master Marksman, which every time you use your aim shot, the next arcane shot you use will be free instead of costing uh, focus, which is really nice. It does work really well with the calling the shots down there at the bottom. Uh, your level 30 talent, you want to run with Careful Aim, where you do more damage in the 80-20 zones of our build, above 80 percent enemy health and below 20 percent uh, for your level 45 talent any of those will work you're in pvp that's when you could probably use your camouflage or if you're needed uh, to run with camo in mythic plus otherwise i normally run with natural mending uh, for the level 60 talent this build i do run with hunter's mark because the other two really aren't worthwhile and they just gum up your build uh, level 75 I run with post haste but you can run with any of those depending on the situation uh, that you're in uh, for level 90 uh, you can use uh, lethal shots or double tap I tend to use lethal shots now but you can use either of those and then level 100 like I said earlier is calling the shots every time you use an arcane shot it lowers the cooldown of your true shot by 2.5 seconds as for the stat priorities for the Unerring Vision build, you want your crit to be approximately uh, 22 to 24 uh, percent. That way you don't have any excess crit in your build once those Unerring Visions are fully stacked up. But you want around that amount of crit. I have 23 percent here. Uh, then you want to run with either your Mastery or your Verse, whichever is on your gear, uh, which will go into the Gems and Enchants here in just a second. Then Agility, then Haste, and then you don't want any excess crit because that will be wasted because you'll go over 100% crit uh, during your unerring vision true shots. Uh, as for your gems, you want to use either mastery or versatility, uh, whichever you have more of. That's pretty much a personal choice because they sim pretty much the same. Uh, mastery does uh, give you a perk of uh, increasing your range while your versatility lowers the amount of damage you take. 
And then enchants is the same as the gems, either mastery or versatility, your choice. And then your weapon is either the masterful or versatile navigation. So the last section of the Unerring Vision portion of this guide is Corruptions. So you're going to see a lot of these share similarities. There's a basic blueprint that you use for Marksman and then each one of these deviates just a little bit. Uh, but the first Corruption is the Whispered Truths which is off of the Skitra Bow from Nihilotha. Uh, basically what it does is it takes two seconds off of a random hunter cooldown every time you auto shot which is very nice. It, does do it randomly though, but if you're in most situations, uh, any cooldown that it lowers is going to be beneficial for you. From there, you want to use your Expedient 3s, which is 12% haste value. Uh, it does make your uh, In the Rhythms 12% better, and if you're running with more than one, obviously 24% uh, of the base amount of haste, uh, depending on how many you have. Uh, from there, uh, you want to use a Masterful 3 or a Versatile 3, uh, depending on which one you're heavy. So if you're heavy Mastery, use Masterful. If you're heavy Versatility, use Versatile. And then Ineffable Truths is also really good uh, because it does increase the cooldown recovery rate uh, of each one of your abilities. And lastly, this note's going to be on each one of these sections, but I personally don't run above 39 Corruption. Uh, just because I don't want to have to deal with the thing from beyond running me down. And also, I've started to use uh, builds where I don't use any of the infinite stars or uh, any of the twilight devs, that sort of thing, to even out my builds. You can do really well with one of those if, if they proc a lot, but if they don't proc a lot or you have to switch targets, that sort of thing, uh, you can lose damage very quickly. This way, if you run with the the expedience, masterful, versatiles of the world, you control the damage and you are the one who decides uh, if the damage goes up or not. So this last section is actually my build that I'm using here in 8.3 and it is perfect for all situations, whether that be Mythic Plus, PvP, or Raiding. It's really a versatile build and it's one reason I love it so much because I like to be lazy. Uh, and keep in mind with these Azurite traits, uh, they are the exact ones I want. So sometimes you will have to sacrifice item level on your Azurite pieces to make sure you get these traits, but it is really worth it in my opinion. Uh, so for the first one, I want three of the In The Rhythm. Uh, basically what In The Rhythm does is it for seven seconds after you cast your Rapid Fire, you get a Bloodlust worth of haste, which is amazing. And it works really well with this build. And then coupled with a couple of other things, you can actually lower that cooldown of your Rapid Fire uh, insanely quickly. Uh, the other Azerite traits we're looking for are two Unerring Vision. Uh, the goal of this build is to get 80% crit whenever your true shot is fully stacked up. And then we also want one focus fire. Basically what that focus fire does is gives you uh, a little bit of focus regen. It gives you approximately an average of 16 to 18 uh, focus compared to the normal 10 you get without it. And it does a small amount of damage on top of that. As for the talents for my build, uh, as you can see, they don't deviate too much from all three uh, builds that I'm showing you guys today, uh, just because there's a lot of talents that aren't worthwhile for hunters at all. They're just not viable. Uh, so for level 15, we have Master Marksman. Basically what that does is every time you cast an aim shot, uh, your next arcane shot will be free, which works really well with your calling the shots down there. Uh, for level 30, uh, careful aim is a must. Uh, basically what that does is if your enemy is is between or above 80% health and below 20% health, your aim shots will do 50% more damage. Uh, as for level 45, natural mending is what I normally run with. If I'm running with old dungeons, something like that, I'll run with trailblazer, uh, but normally uh, natural mending is the way to go. Uh, for level 60, the only one that's really viable, uh, for this build at least, is uh, Hunter's Mark, just because Streamline gums up your build and Steady Focus isn't really worth it since we get enough Focus Regen thanks to our In The Rhythm. Uh, as for level 75, uh, Post Haste is usually what I run with, uh, but if you don't need to get out of Roots, anything like that, Born To Be Wild is the way to go. Uh, and then for level 90, you can run with Lethal Shots or Double Tap, but the more I run with Lethal Shots, the more I see my damage go up, so that's what I will run with. And then for level 100, it's just calling the shots, uh, just because it works so well with Master Marksman and how our build is designed to lower the cooldown of your true shot to do just insane amounts of damage. 
So for the stat priority for my build, uh, I want to run with between 25 and 30% crit, and that is included in having one severe three, uh, which what severe three does is it gives you 12% increased value from the crit that you do have. Uh, and then I want to run with mastery, then agility, then haste, versatility, and then finally crit, because any crit over 30% is really kind of wasted. It could be going into mastery or haste or even versatility. Uh, as for your gems, I go with mastery, uh, but if you are trying to get to a desired amount of crit, you could put a couple of crit gems in there. I wouldn't go with more than two or three, though. And then enchants, uh, with like your ring enchants, that sort of thing, you want to run with mastery and then use masterful navigation on your the weapon. section as with all the others, was Corruptions. Uh, corruptions, like I said each time, have completely broken damage in this game, and you can really take advantage of a lot of insane amounts of mastery, for example. Like, I posted on my uh, channel not long ago that I had 38% mastery. It's an insane amount of mastery, almost 4,000. Uh, but the best Corruptions to be using right now uh, in my build is the Whispered Truths, which is, of course, the Skitra Bow. It does take two seconds every time you auto shot. Uh, off of a random hunter cooldown. It could be a good cooldown, it could be a bad one, but most of the time we don't have too many cooldowns to use, so it's going to be a good one. Uh, Expedient 3, I would run with at least two of these, that way you're in the rhythm is just absolutely supercharged and it becomes bloodlust levels of haste. Uh, Masterful 3, uh, I would fill in anything else if you have extra corruption available, I would fill that in with Masterful 3, which is 12% mastery value. And then I I run with just one base of uh, Severe 3, which gives that 12% crit value. Uh, basically, that 12% crit value allows you to get to 80% overall crit whenever you're fully stacked up uh, with your uh, Unerring Vision true shots. Like I said, the, the goal of this build is to have 80% crit whenever your true shot is fully stacked, and the build is completely centered around lowering all of your cooldowns, uh, especially of your true shot for max output damage. Uh, but the one nice thing is that this build runs with higher amounts of base crit. That way you have a higher probability of critting whenever you're not in your true shot windows. So thank you guys for checking out my last guide of Battle for Azeroth. It was a pleasure making guides for you guys all expansion long. If you have any questions on any contents in this video, uh, please leave me a comment uh, in the comment section below or feel free to reach out to me on my Discord. Uh, message me directly on Bnet. That information is in the description of the video as well as even maybe my social media accounts like Twitter. Feel free to message me there. Uh, the one thing I did forget in this video, one reason I'm adding this on at the end is the uh, essences uh, so all the information for essences is in the description of this video so before you send me a comment about that please be sure and check out that as well as any pinned comments because anything that I do change in this video because it will be a living breathing guide uh, will be in the pinned comment section and please be sure and check out uh, last couple of things I have a corruption guide uh, that's just on corruptions on my channel link in the description as well as my original 8.3 guide. So I hope this helped you guys so much. I plan to make guides into Shadowlands and I can't wait to go on that journey with you guys. So thanks for watching.